Today I'm going to show you one of the most expensive modern day 1990s magazines you could find. This magazine can sell for $10,000 on its own. I bought a whole mess, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comic books, many, many magazines. I only have about $300 or so into the entire purchase. One of these magazines right this very minute can sell for $4,000. The magazine we're talking about is called George. This is a very well-known magazine. It was mass-produced. It's something I do run into occasionally. Not very often, but I do pick up some issues here and there. And I've got the holy grail of magazines here. This is George. This is from February 1997. Now, this issue is a little unique. It talks about survival into the future and into 2020, and it actually brings up pandemic. Now, this is not a one-off. This sells constantly. There's pages of this one selling all the way up to $10,000. Now, I expect I'll probably get two or $3,000 for it, but I also was lucky enough to get some other issues that can sell for some good money as well. Another issue right here of George. Uh, here is another issue right here. Uh, one thing, too, if it has an address label on it, it will still sell for those prices. Just FYI, you will see people covering up the address label on some of the listings, but they still sell for some good money. Most every issue of this, I usually get 40 to 50 bucks on average, just the plain issues like this. Now, some of them are better than other ones. This one will do fairly well. Um, the Susan B. Anthony, uh, Julia Roberts one here. This one goes for around 40 bucks or so. I got a pretty much ratted out version here. Um, I'll probably just throw this in somewhere. Uh, it's the first anniversary issue, so it's still worth it, even with that one. And the Woody Harrelson one sells fairly well, too. It's got a lot of good content in it. So these magazines in general, the ones I just showed you, will get me over $3,000 without a doubt, without me even trying. Now, my issue isn't in mint condition. There's a few issues on the corners, the spine. Um, there was a label there at one point, so I can't get the top dollar for it. These will be gone fairly quickly. I'll hold on to them for a little while if it means getting a little money for them. Let's look at some right now that's sold to give you an idea on what these honestly go for. So I've popped myself in here to Terra Peak, and we're going to look at Terra Peak just for a minute, and we're going to look at some close-ups so you can see without a doubt which issue this is. Again, same issue. This is it. This is the same one I just found. This one here sold for $10,000, and it has an address label on it. Uh, here's the entire assortment. There's 56 issues with that special issue almost 10,000. This one's 7,000 for basically the same thing. These are all recent prices within the last year. So again, as you can see, there's a ton of them. It just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Uh, there's so many of them. It's going to sell at least for $2,000 without a doubt. If I want to wait, I can probably get $3,500 for this one magazine. Uh, that's what I will probably do. I will probably hang on. I'll probably sell some of the other stuff. Again, I got a huge lot. I've got a bunch of other magazines as well. Not just these type. I got a whole bunch more magazines with some other high dollar ones in there. This one though is the cream of the crop. So now we're in the ended listings. This is just from the last 90 days. Again, same magazine here. If you know what magazines to look for, you can make a ton of money. There are some just like this that sell for thousands of dollars. Not every one, of course, but if you know which ones, as I said, you know more than the other person, you can rake out a ton of money. Again, I didn't pay much. I got less than $300 into a whole van load of material. This is just one of the scores. I'll show you some other items in some other videos if you're interested in seeing some unique and different items also. But as you can see here, same issues, same everything. You can check out the prices last 90 days. 
as you can see, it's going to sell. It's going to get me thousands of dollars from just a, a few cents. On average, I probably have about a nickel or so in each individual item I bought today. Totally filled up my van with material. And as you can see, let's look at a close up here so you, you can see how they advertise and break it down. Now this one looks like they're selling the whole lot of them as you can see. Fine, doesn't matter. This is the issue where you're getting all your money from. As you can see, well over $4,000. It's not the only one. I can just keep pulling these up. Worth Point has this on it if you're a Worth Point person also. This one has skyrocketed. If you pay attention to markets, and I've sold magazines for a very, very, very long time. There are other issues that are flying up. If you're into pulp magazines, there's other pulps that have skyrocketed. I talk about that right now. There's a ton of items that have shot up in the last six months in price. Magazines are just one. I would honestly recommend you digging into what's valuable and what's not in these sorts of areas. This is a 1997 magazine, not very old. That's the point of this. It doesn't always have to be old to be worth money. These are the type of things I can sometimes get for free at some thrift stores. Some of the smaller thrift stores will let you take a couple magazines home because they get so many of them. Some, it's like 10 for a dollar on magazines. I have been buying magazines for probably 20 years to sell and resell. It's an area where there is so much money if you know which ones to center in on. If you dig in there, you're going to find a bunch of other magazine titles in the last 30 or 40 years that sell for some insane money. It's not something you're going to find every day. It's not something that was always this high. It has gone up immensely, as you can see another one. Now, they've covered up the address, so you can't see the address sticker. So it's still selling in that same range with the address sticker on there also. Some of them have issues. Some of them are showing spine damage and other aspects to them. So even in not so great condition, this one still sells for a ton of money. Magazines, books, any of that sort of thing are usually fairly cheap. One good source of finding some good magazines, and it's always worked for us, was thrift stores. We used to find them at Savers all the time. Good vintage resellable magazines. Something I could buy a couple hundred sometimes at a time at a Savers. There was two in the area. We'd usually hit them both. I'd hit some of the other thrift stores. Nowadays, I have some better areas where I can go straight to something without having to have competition, I guess, to some extent. This is one of those type of picks that you get a phone call on. Somebody called me and offered me some merchandise. And this is part of what was in there. Thrift stores, as I said, are excellent sources for this type of material. Everybody asks me, where do I find this sort of thing? That's a good start right off the bat. Local auctions. Now, it doesn't even have to be a vintage auction for magazines. Another one are when the library systems have their book sales. They'll dump off magazines dirt cheap all the time. Now, people say, well, there's probably stampings and markings in some of those library magazines and books. Many of them do not have it because they get many of them. They get donations as well. So at the end of the day, people donate to the library so the library can sell it and make some money off of that. So I go to every single one of those sales that are out there. Universities have them as well, and you can pick up bulk, bulk items like that. There's also book depositories and things like that that you can check out. There's companies that handle them, newsstands and things like that that deal in old merchandise occasionally, or that auction off mass quantities of their old warehouse house and things like this do show up in that case i've seen copies of some magazines that sell for four and five thousand dollars where people have found a whole case and were selling them one at a time for a couple of years and made a fortune off of just a box of old magazines so this area is something i would definitely at least look at you'd be surprised at what some magazines will go for and if i can't sell some magazines like some of the other ones i bought individually Usually, I sell them in a lot. I'll sell a whole year at a time or six issues at a time from a certain year or say a lot of a couple of dozen over, say, a four or five year time span. I try to keep the dates on them tight 
close to each other so that they have similar types of content because that's usually what somebody wants. They might want a certain area, certain range, something they would be familiar with, say the actors or the people in them or something like that. As I said, this came in a haul from me. I've got some video we'll show in the future, so keep an eye out for it coming out. I'll also show you some of the other content I got out of that pick. Total value for the haul is probably around $7,000, including this magazine as well as the other ones. So values there on these cheap items that most people miss. I've even found George magazines in an antique mall for $3 a piece. So they're all over the place. Maybe not that specific issue, but you will find some if you dig in. You should know more than everybody else, and you're going to make more than everybody else. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. People will do anything to take their favorite video games everywhere they go. But now Tiger gives you all the fun and excitement of your favorite arcade game in the palm of your hand. Games like Double Dragon, jump, kick, and fight your way through four missions to defeat the big boss and save Marion to win. Also coming soon from Tiger, Karnoff, Gauntlet, Jordan Bird, Simon's Quest, and more. Each sold separately. Batteries not included. It's a grand toy.